Hello everyone, it's time for a new video and today is gonna be my contemporary -a -thon vlog. So this weekend for four days, Chelsea, Julie, and Natasha are hosting the Contemporary Thon, which is just a readathon that's all about reading contemporary books. I love Julie, Natasha, and Chelsea, and I just really wanted to participate because it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna have all their channels linked down below. Definitely check them out, they're all amazing. I'm really excited for all the books that I want to read and so I just wanted to do a mini TBR right now to kind of tell you what I'll probably be reading. So there are kind of three challenges. The first one is to read a book that has peach on the cover so this is going to be kind of like pink or orange, anything like that. And the one that I picked for this, multiple work for this, but the one that I kind of picked specifically for this challenge is You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogel. So, you have probably seen mostly the pink version of the cover, but I actually, when I downloaded the ebook, it actually had a different peach cover that's like completely peach. It kind of looks more like coral to me, but it definitely counts. And I've been meaning to get to this book. It came out not long ago. I feel like I've heard some really good things about it, and I think it's going to be a book that I really enjoy, so I would like to read that. And then another book that I would really like to read that would count for this maybe is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey, which actually is, I know, one of Chelsea's all-time favorite books. And it's a book that I've been meaning to get to for literally like at least a year. And I've had it on my Kindle for ages, and I just really, really want to get to it. And I feel like on the cover, the skirt is kind of like a peachy color, maybe. So that would probably count as well. And the second challenge is to read a book that's under 250 pages. So for this one, I kind of have two options. The first one that I'm definitely going to read is Heavy Vinyl by Carly Usden. And this one is a graphic novel and I already actually started reading it. I'm pretty sure I'm like halfway through and I really wanted to have a graphic novel in here because that's just something that's super easy to get through. It's gonna make me feel accomplished. So I'll talk to you about that a little bit more later. And the other option is More to the Story by Hannah Khan, which is a retelling of Little Women. I'm pretty sure it's a middle grade. And the main character is interested in journalism, so it's kind of a lot about that. And there's also the aspect that one of her sister gets sick. So, you know, that's kind of like Little Women. And yes, I actually, this uh, this month, I'm actually participating in the Asian Readathon and the Ramadan Readathon. And so, Hina Khan is actually an Asian and Muslim author. And so that's a book that I really like to get to. And also, it's available as an ebook and audiobook on Scribd. And I really want to have at least one audiobook for the weekend. And the last one is read a book that's just really fun for you, that you're definitely going to enjoy. And honestly, all of these could mostly count for this, but um, for me, the most fun is probably adult romance, and I really would like to read a lot of them, so I already kind of mentioned a few, but the ones that I really, really, really want to read actually have a really similar title, and the first one is Trade Me by Courtney Milan, so I think that, w that one I'm going to start with and I think it's gonna be really fun. I think it's a new adult romance and it's basically about a trade between the two characters that like the hero is a billionaire and the heroine is poor and she has to work really hard to give some money to her family for like I think school and like things like that and so they kind of trade that and she kind of lives in his apartment, has his car and everything and he has to work, uh, do the same job and everything and I love that concept. I actually only today found out and I've been meaning to read this book for ages because I love Courtney Milan. And the other one is Teach Me, <laughs> which sounds super similar, but this one is by Olivia Dade and I have been meaning to read this book and just Olivia Dade in general for a while now and I really hope I'm gonna get to it. I don't know anything about the plot but I think it's gonna be great and I also love this cover so much. Olivia Dade has the, the best covers. I love them so much. So it's time for an update. It is 4 p.m. and I finished reading Heavy Vinyl. I gave it four stars and I don't think I said what it's about. So basically it's about a group of girls who love music and they kind of work at a music shop but they're actually like a girl fight club and they just kind of fight against the patriarchy and they become really close friends and it was really cute. It also had a bit of a sapphic romance in it, which was really cute, and it was just really cute. It was a good time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go listen to the, um, More to the Story, is that the name of it? 
because uh, I really feel like listening to an audiobook and it's a short one so I'll definitely be able to finish that today and then I'll start probably an adult romance. So it's time for an update. I have been listening to the audiobook of more to the story and I'm really enjoying it. I'm at like 70% already. Like I said, it's super short. The audiobook is like four hours and a half and in pages it's like 200. So it's really short. I'm flying through it and I don't think I said that much about the plot. So like I said, it's a retelling of Little Women and it's about a American Pakistani Muslim family. The main character, she becomes a feature editor at her like schools, middle schools journal and she wants to write a really powerful story and so she you know just wants to go after her goals and everything and then there are obviously all the sisters just like in little women they're close but they argue sometimes and everything that dynamic is really similar and one of them like i already mentioned um gets sick so and i'm really really enjoying it so far so i just finished more to the story and i really really liked it it was a really powerful story and I feel like the main part of the book was the illness a lot. So one of the sisters has cancer and that was a big part of the book. It was filled with a lot of hope as well and it was just a really beautiful story. I think I'm gonna give it 4.5 stars. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer so that, I, so that we could have the relationships a little bit more developed um but it was a really really beautiful book and i'm really happy i read it we're off to a good start so it's time for an update it's gonna be 11 p.m soon and i ended up watching a movie so i got 10 percent into fix her up by tessa bailey so i was not going to read the book so early on but i wanted to read on my kindle and i had trade me which i was going to read first on my phone and so I decided to just read Fix Her Up. So far, I don't really know what to say about it. I don't even know how to describe the plot. Um, but if you haven't heard of it, basically it's just an adult romance that's super steamy, has a lot of dirty talk, and that's all I know about it. And I think that's mostly all that you need to know, I feel like. But fun fact, um, <laughs> I... So I looked at some reviews under the book on Goodreads and Riley actually just, you know, wrote a review. She enjoyed the book, not like didn't love it or anything. I think she gave it three stars and she commented that the main character, the guy, calls his dick two bats and I read that and I was like, what the fuck? And my brain just comprehended that as like the animal two bat, like the the animal and I was confused and I was like I don't know how that works <laughs> but I didn't really think about it for long I was just like that's super weird but okay and then I read it in the book and he already said it twice and I understood what it actually meant <laughs> and he also plays baseball so you know makes even more sense but at the same time like when I read it in the review I was like okay that's weird but whatever I think it's gonna be there like once so far it's already been there twice and I'm only at 10% so that's certainly very interesting <laughs> but uh, yeah I don't know I people have very polarizing opinions on this book I think it really needs to be for you and if it's like your vibe you're probably gonna love it but if it's not there's a high chance you're gonna hate it I think I'll probably enjoy it. I'm not sure if I'm going to adore it, but I think I'm going to like it. I'm enjoying it. I, it's fine. But I'm kind of like super impatient for it to already get to the romance because so far it's just kind of like nothing at all is happening. But I think it's just it's not the fault of the book necessarily. I'm just feeling really impatient. I'm not much further into the book, but I was having some thoughts. And I wanted to share, in this book, the guy is the girl's brother's best friend. And it's the kind of a thing where the brother is super protective and he doesn't want him to go anywhere near 
his sister and everything, which that's a trope that I find really annoying, but I, I'm having a, I have a, I have the feeling that I'm really gonna like the romance. Um, I just might be a little bit annoyed by, like, the things around it and the conflict. If there's gonna be conflict with the brother, that's probably gonna be annoying. Two bats made an appearance again. Not literally, but the words. Uh, and I was just like, oh my god, what the fuck is this shit? Um, but I think it's going to be entertaining. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, it's time for an update. It's Saturday. It's like 1 p.m. And I kind of slept in and I've just been chilling. I watched some booktube videos and so I made a little bit of progress with reading. I'm at 30% of Fixer Up and um, where do I begin? <laughs> I am enjoying it, um, but I do feel like the beginning drags a little bit for me. Because, I don't know, in this book, I'm just really impatient to get to, like, the romance. And it's developing a little bit too slowly for my taste. And I think at this point, it's going to go a little bit faster and, like, it's going to happen soon. But the beginning has been kind of slow for me. But I am hoping the romance will make up for that. I... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um... Literally after I talked to you, I went to read... And <laughs> let's just say I was right. Things are starting to happen and I don't even know how to express myself right now, but I was like, uh, I need to talk to you. It's a lot. And also, are you fucking kidding me? I did not remember that it had fake dating in it at all. And Georgie just suggested it. And I was like, Excuse me, because, <laughs> um, I, like, after it was there, I remember hearing it from other people, but I did not expect that at all. And it's not a trope that I necessarily love, but I don't mind it, and it definitely has potential, and holy fuck, like, let's just say I'm enjoying it much more now, so, yeah, I'm gonna go read, and... Hello everyone, so it's time for an update. It is Sunday and I unfortunately didn't manage to read that much yesterday, but I am making some progress and I have things that I can update you on. So I got 63% into Fix Her Up and things are finally starting to happen and like I expected and like I already kind of told you a little bit, I am really enjoying the romance. Yes, there are definitely things that I really don't like in the book and kind of just things that are annoying and stuff, but mostly it's just a really fun time. But I also started reading another graphic novel because I just wanted to read something short and fun. Mm -hmm. And I started reading the third volume of Goldie Vance. I forgot the author's name. I love the art. It's fun. It's kind of, she's like a bit of a detective and I absolutely hate detective things and stuff like that, but it's really cute. There's a super cute sapphic romance in it, and I really like Goldie, so I'm enjoying that. So I'll definitely read that today as well. And the last book that I'm reading a tiny bit is Of Curses and Kisses by Sandy Eminen, which is um kind of like a contemporary fantasy, and I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'm buddy reading it with a friend of mine, and so I'm gonna read a little bit of that today and tomorrow and I am on the page 70. It's kind of like a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast and I love Sandy Eminem and I think I'm gonna like this book but so far the beginning is really slow. Like again I'm on page 70 and I just I feel like nothing's happened so far and I want things to just happen a little bit more. But I really love the setting of the boarding school because it's set at a boarding school kind of in the mountains in a small town and it's really fun. Hello everyone, so please excuse my wet hair, I just washed it and I wanted to update you and I didn't want to wait so um, I finished reading Figs Are Up and I think I'm gonna give it 3.5 stars. It 
I kind of had mixed feelings about it, but mostly, like, all I've said to you stayed the same. I loved the romance, and I found myself kind of just not caring about anything else, <laughs> but at the same time, I had some issues with the book, and um, I definitely think I was in the middle. I didn't hate it, obviously, but I didn't fully adore it either, because there were just tiny little things that um, bothered me. It was really steamy and I think like that is something that you will either really love or really hate. Like if you don't like the nickname baby girl, <laughs> probably don't read this because that's like that's there all the time. But I had fun. It didn't, fe didn't even feel like a long book really in the end. So I have about 80 pages to read of Goldie Vance. And so I think I'm just going to fly through that right now. And then I want to read another romance book. And I'm not sure if I'm going to read Trade Me because I just realized that after Goldie Vance, I will have like the book that um, completes my Goodreads challenge, <laughs> which is absolutely insane. Hello everyone. So it's time for an update. I finished volume three of Goldie Vance. I really liked it. It was cute. It was nice. I gave it four stars and I love the art in it and it was just really chill and easy to get through and I was going to read Trade Me and I really really hope I'm going to get to that tomorrow but I don't have my laptop. I think I might have mentioned it earlier and I really want to get this video up on Monday or Tuesday but I have no idea when I'm going to have my laptop. I should have already had it. Um, and my sister has a program that is different from the one that I use. And she let me borrow her laptop for the evening. And it's really complicated. Well, it's not complicated exactly, but it works super differently from the one that I'm used to. And so I was just spending way too much time and way too much energy on that, trying to figure it out. I kept messing it up and it completely exhausted me. And I really need a book. That will be super fun and will lift my spirits <laughs> and uh, and so the book i'm going to be choosing is temptations of a wallflower by ava lee thing is i don't think it counts for the readathon and at this point i don't really care because i mean it's the same like all the fun adult romance that i'm reading except it's set you know in like in the 19th century um and I actually started reading this one before the readathon and I was really excited for it and I got like 20% into it and so I think I'm just gonna fly through the rest of it and it's gonna be really fun and the plot is basically that the heroine in the book is an author and she writes erotica and she's just super fun and she's a daydreamer and a reader and a writer which is literally me and um i really like her character and the guy kind of doesn't really have any experience with girls and his dad is um uh, i forgot the title like kind of rich kind of has like a decent position in society but he's not a duke or something I don't know. Um, and so he relies on his dad to give him money, but that means his dad kind of controls what he does. And I forgot the name of the job that he has to do, but just basically he's never had a choice in what he does. And so his dad tells him that he can do whatever he wants with his life if he figures out who the anonymous author of these uh, scandalous novels is. And <laughs> I think it's going to be really fun. I really hope that the conflict isn't going to be something that drives me crazy. Something, you know, like miscommunication. He, yeah, I don't know. But the 20% that I read of the book so far were really fun. And I just really need that right now. And I think I'm going to love Trade Me so much. But it kind of deals with some more difficult things as well. And right now, I just need fun and light things. <laughs> so I'm almost halfway through. Um, Temptations of a Wallflower, and I am loving it. I feel like it is a little bit slow. It's definitely very slow burn because there are a lot of things kind of standing in the character's way, but I'm really enjoying it anyway. <laughs> it's just super chill and really fun, and I'm a little bit concerned about how the conflict is going to happen, but I really think it's a book that I'm going to enjoy, and it's one that I really needed right now. 
I haven't really made much reading prog- I haven't really made much progress with, um, Temptations of a Wallflower so far. I think I'm gonna read a little bit of Wild Embers by Nikita Gale. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to another novel today. I think I'm gonna finish Temptations of a Wallflower, but I don't think I'm gonna read anything else. And so I wanted to read a little bit more of this book because I decided to do a reread of this, um, this month. And uh, I read this book. It was the first book that I read this year. And I love poetry. I actually have my own poetry book out in case you didn't know that. So the link for that is always in the description box. But <laughs> I Nikita Gill is my absolute favorite poet. I love her poems so much. They are so lyrical and beautiful and touching and I just, it's a pleasure to read. It's like, I, it, it touches my heart so deeply every single time. Hello everyone, so it's 10.16pm and I got 84% into Temptations of a Wallflower and I really enjoyed it. I might finish it before the um, end of the day so I could still, you know, fit it into the readathon, but I think I'm going to end the video here because it's already pretty long and I really want to put up this video today and I don't want it to be too late. Since I'm pretty close to the end, I want to just kind of summarize my thoughts on this book. I'm definitely enjoying it and I think it's probably going to end up being a four star read. I thought it would be a five star, but unfortunately the pacing is kind of weird. Like, I still love it. I feel a really strong connection to it, I think, because... I can relate to the heroine in a lot of ways and I just really love the couple. They're amazing and I just love the author aspect and everything. But like I kind of feared, the conflict is mainly just miscommunication and secrets and stuff and that is something I hate <laughs> and I feel like most people really don't like that. So I still think the book is worth it and I still really love it. Um, but I kind of wish... I mean, it makes sense for this type of conflict, for that kind of a plot, but I still wish it was done in a better way. And I also feel like the book should be shorter, because it's like 380 pages, and it would have definitely benefited from being 300, because some parts of it just feel really slow, and it has been kind of dragging, even though I'm loving the book, it is just too long. So, yes. So those are my thoughts, <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and tell me in the comments down below what books you have been reading, if you read, if you if you participated in the readathon, what you read and liked, and yes, just tell me anything you would like to tell me. <laughs> and yeah, so definitely subscribe to my channel if you are interested in more reading vlog content and just book content, because I finally have my laptop back. I am definitely planning so much exciting content and I am just really excited so stay tuned and yes, have a great day and I'm going to see you soon in another video. Bye!